Good morning, everybody. It's 7.39 a.m., not p.m., and it is a beautiful 80 degrees. A little bit warm for us, but I just wanted to show you all that's August in Texas. 80 degrees, and it's not even 8 a.m. So we're going to take a look at our garden this morning, and we've done a lot to it since last week. We've got our Mr. Jalapeno here, and you can see that there are a ton of blossoms on that little plant, so we're really looking forward to those. We've taken a liking to making our own bacon-wrapped jalapeno poppers. We've got some spinach we planted from seeds, which hasn't come up. We got basil. We found these little tags. And you can see we got the basil starting to come up. So we got a little basil popping up here and there. There's another little one right there. So we got some basil. We got a couple more. So it's, and there's a little bit more. So it's starting to come up. And these I think are all empty. And then this is the okra that we got by accident and that stuff won't die so so far it's continuing onward now we got some peas we got sugar peas sugar snaps and dwarf sugar and I don't, couldn't tell you the difference it's a good thing they're labeled on the little sticks here so but the uh, these sugar snaps you can see started to come up a little bit and then our dwarf sugar peas we got a whole bunch of those in and we got some we got some that are really coming up and they're not they're not coming up all at the same time which ought to be helpful later hopefully they won't all develop at the same time and we can kinda pick them over a couple of weeks Now we got tomatoes here. These tomatoes are the ones we got from the flats, uh, where we got those two flats for five dollars. A lot of them died, but this one here is still hanging on. And this one, actually, that one looks really good. That all—all all those came out of that same flat, so that one's really, really looking good. And then. We had so many of them die. The two that were in here died. Uh, most of the ones in this middle section I'm going to show you died. But what I found was I uh, found some more plants the other day. So we got, uh, I bought this one, was $1.50, and then I got this one here, was $1.50. And we planted those uh, yesterday morning, actually. I got them Thursday night. We planted them yesterday morning. And then we got this is a leftover, that's a leftover, that one's a leftover. Oh, I got a weed. That's the beauty of this. I think I've picked three pieces of grass out of this garden in the last three weeks, so it's not hard to keep up with. Now this one here, this real tall guy, he was one we got from that uh, $5 batch. And this one here is one that I just bought yesterday. So I only bought three yesterday. So that one and then these two. Now one of these, this one here is what they call a grape. My wife likes cherry tomatoes so I got this grape one. It's They didn't have cherry but we'll we'll see. They're the yeah, same concept. You can kind of see on the picture there. So little ones to put in her salad. So hopefully the, those will pop up we had some aphids. We had some aphids and they came out of this tube on this plant here. It's really weird. And they got on some leaves. They got on these leaves right here. The ones that are all brown. We killed them off. But we found out you're not supposed to kill them off. What you're supposed to do if you get aphids is clip the leaves off that they're on and take them somewhere else and kill them. 
So we screwed that up. Kill first, read directions later. And then, so uh, this tomato here is one of the original ones. So we got some that made it. Uh, we only need a couple out of all these plants. We only need a couple to get, you know, to get five dollars worth. And it looks like one of those other ones will take care of that. Now we started some seeds from uh, germination from plastic bags, and uh, there's an article on that on online. You can check it out, and that's where these cucumbers. These two, we, we started those from germination. So we got four cucumber plants started. And this is one of the cucumbers that we bought. And it had blooms on it earlier. It, it doesn't look too bad. I thought it was in worse shape than that. And then these are the uh, beans that we planted weeks ago, three weeks ago now. So this is what they look like after three weeks, which is awesome. It won't be too long. We're going to have to start building trellises. Then, then we got our watermelon, which hasn't done a lot. Hasn't done much at all. What we do is we water every night. We've been watering because we haven't had rain here pretty much the month of July. It's rained all around us, but it hasn't rained here. So every night after it cools off about 7 o'clock, uh, the wife comes out and waters. Here's another watermelon. So we've got several watermelon plants going. And then here's our pumpkins, which are three weeks. We planted those three weeks ago, along with the other ones. And those, you know, those were planted from seeds, so they've come up really good. They look real good. We've got, what do we got here? Green peppers. And our little green peppers haven't done much. We got one little bitty pepper right there. So they're they're hurting. Now, I also I found some oregano at the same store. I found the tomato plants, and I, so I just kind of got that for something to do. But that's a little oregano. <laughs> we put these trellises. We laid them down the middle like this because the dogs keep running through the Dagum garden. Now another little thing that we're trying is we we uh, did some seeds. We got some I'm not exactly sure how you say this Swiss chard but basically what we found is these containers, uh, cinnamon rolls came in them. So we put some dirt in there and we're using them like a mini greenhouse and you can see all the water on the top there. Just like on that one there. So this one here we have some Swiss chard. We put them in 8-6 and it's supposed to take 7-12 to 12 days. So we're going to see if this helps. And in this one here we've got tomatoes. Better boy tomatoes. And we did the same thing from them. And those seeds were started 8 1. And we've got, well, there's really hard to see. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to see if those come up. We're going to see if these little mini greenhouses work. But that's it. Week number three of our little garden. So far so good. We had a little loss, but we expected quite a bit of loss with, that, uh, with those plants because they weren't very good shape when we got them, but we got so many of them we just couldn't take them. Now the one last thing is our Australian tomato plant and this here topsy-turvy dead 
<laughs> that didn't work at all. Now, of course, those plants were horrible. But what we're going to do is uh, if one of those tomatoes, those better boy, comes out, when it gets three or four inches, we're going to take and plant that inside the topsy-turvy again. Because we, the wife discovered that out of all the dead tomatoes, there was a certain, uh, a certain kind that all died. So we're wondering if, if that kind just isn't all that hardy. Or maybe it doesn't take the heat that we've had. So maybe some of these other, other types we have, like the Better Boy or Brandywine, will be a little hardier and take the heat better. Oh, yeah. The wife planted this is our this is our herb um, I can't remember what it is but it's starting to grow too this has only been out here about a week chives that's what it is chives but there you go folks it's 80 degrees and not even 8 a.m. and that's our little garden this morning and next week we'll take another look and see what we have.